Mm. Um, I think this is going to open up Pandora's box when it comes to other employees that have been here, got fired, got terminated, and they feel that they can come and get um, pay a payout because they was terminated. Yeah, because a TIF TIF terminated them because they wouldn't get on board or they weren't just they weren't supportive enough. Okay, that's called I don't want to pay for my mistakes. I don't want to make the people happy that I already purposely made sad. <laughs> y'all it's your girl j9 eve make sure you hit the like button subscribe share the video and get into the comments and let me know what you think about this right here okay so i made a video in the last week or so okay about tiffany hanyard mayor tiffany tiff tiff the super mayor okay wanting to hire when she hired her beloved keith freeman as the administrator okay and she kept stressing how Look, you guys know how I need, I, I'm in need of an administrator. It's so hard to do my job without an administrator, you know. But I'll show you a little clip here of her saying that. <laughs> we do not have a village administrator. So mm -hmm. how dare my board not vote for a village administrator to run the day-to-day -day operation, which mm -hmm. you guys know, Dorothy last day really was last week. She came in today to just finish up the board meeting uh -huh. and um, little stuff around here. Okay. Um, we are in need of a village administrator. I think um, the person that I've chosen, which his name is Keith Freeman, oh. um, will be Keith Freeman. And so her rush was, you know, she wanted to get him in before this here, you know, background check came in. Like she like. Look, we got a background check my ass. We don't need one of those, okay? That's going to make it so I can't hire him without a straight face, okay? So so we're going to hire him now before that background check come back in. Okay, that was her big, big thing. But the point is, is that she was emphasizing how badly she was in need of an administrator. It was like, it's like her administrator just left and she was in need of a new one. Turns out, no, <laughs> that's not what happened, <laughs> Okay, so what they're going to be doing in this is trying to vote to give a severance package to none other than that administrator, the village administrator that was there before Keith Freeman. Okay, she wants to like, of course, she does not want to do this because I mean, how much fun is it to fire someone and then, <laughs> spoiler alert, <laughs> fire someone and then give them a severance package? That's not, I, I don't want to do that. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> Let's hear what the Tiff Tiff has to say about this, okay? Let's just let's just hear her out. Let's not be judgmental. Come on, stop being judgmental. We're gonna listen to her, okay? Okay. She's gonna have good points and she's gonna be reasonable. I just I just know it. I feel it in my bones, okay? Discussion and possible action required for approval of severance agreement and payment for the village of Dalton employee trustee house. Uh, thank you very much, Mayor. This is just the formal vote on a um, mm -hmm. agreement, a, a separation or severance agreement that was discussed in June's board meeting during executive session. So we have to have a formal vote for the agreement and mm -hmm. to issue the payment. So I'm asking that we, well, I motion that we approve the agreement uh, discussed in executive session. Okay. I'll second. All right. There's a motion in a second. Um, mm -hmm. Any discussion? Okay, so I guess you want to explain to the residents what, what we're doing or what you are proposing? Yes. Well, Tr oh, my, trust we're, we're, no, well, my explanation was it's a severance agreement that we are that we already discussed. Yes, we already talked right. about it. We discussed in closed session, but now uh -huh. it's on the floor. You have to tell the people what it is we're doing. So what are we, what are we like about to propose? Elaborate, please feel free, but that was my explanation. Okay. She likes moments like this. The Tiff Tiff loves moments like this because it kind of almost looks like why y'all trying to hide stuff from the people? Why y'all don't want to talk about it? And she likes to pounce on those moments, even though she knows that what it is about is something that she's responsible for. It's her fault and she's being a douche. <laughs> but because they won't talk about it, she could just say, look, see, they don't even want to tell y'all stuff. They want y'all to be in the dark. You know, you can't trust these people. These trustees ain't trustworthy. She thinks she's slick. Oh, no, I'm on to you. I'm on to you. Oh, let me explain something to anybody over here. When you okay. guys put stuff on the agenda, it's y'all agenda item. Y'all have to elaborate to the public, uh -huh. the residents, to tell them why y'all see fit, why we pushing this agenda. Uh -huh. uh, you guys can't be afraid to tell people what it is you're trying to do. 
yes, I can elaborate. I can say what it is you're doing, but it'd be my opinion. So then we'll go back and forth. Mm-hmm. So I give you the floor to speak and say, this is why I did it. This is what I think is best for the village. But no one seems to want to tell the people why you guys are voting the way you're voting or suggesting what we do. So that's why I'm asking. Well, if you tell us why you fired this lady, <laughs> you tell us why you fired this lady, which turns out to be the administrator, the previous administrator. Okay, she got in office immediately wanted to fire this administrator. Let me guess why. She wasn't able to, you know, help with the crimes that the Tiff Tiff was, you know, had in mind. Okay, definitely nothing like that freaking Keith Freeman, who was already, like, when she was running, he was already there. Just, you know, being like, oh, we're going to do so much big stuff together. I know how to steal properly. Trust me. Okay. Trust me. <laughs> so, of course, she had to get rid of the administrator because she got to, you know, I got I got somebody else in mind. Okay. Got you. Roger Dodger, Tiff. If you could tell the people, because, of course, I'm, I'm going to say what I'm going to say, but it's your agenda. Uh, well, I explained. It's a, it's a severance mm-hmm. arrangement. So, the floor is yours, man. Yeah, you knew what it was. Okay. So, I guess, trust me. That's what I'm saying. Feel free to say it. Feel free to say it. You say it. You you say it. <laughs> I don't want to explain to the people what it is that they're doing. Okay, so we had a meeting, what was it? Uh, June, I would say. First week of June in regards to creating um, a salvage package for an employee that mm-hmm. uh, got terminated at the village of Dalton. Okay. Um, the employee only been in office, well, worked with the village for five years. So the board sees fit that the person should get um a payout my advice as mayor was to not do so that i don't think we should create um things of this caliber Uh because once you do this you're going to open pandora's box um half of the time when people do get a payout like this they've been there for 30 plus years it's not created for people that's at will or people that think um the village owes them anything everybody that Mm -hmm. works in politics or have a political position or however you guys want to phrase it um, it's at will. When you're at will, you can get fired for any given reason. Okay, like like your new administrator, that Mr. Freeman, that you hired without a background check. Like without his background check being clear, you hired him. But every other person that you hired, okay, without doing a background check, pretending like you didn't know. <laughs> like what? Oh, oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. The last thing I would think is when I hire some people to come in here and do some stuff for me is, whether or not they've committed crimes, whether they're a criminal. Oh, who cares about that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so once they find out that he's got a background, which clearly he did, Mr. Freeman, if you can just hire these people and fire them at will, why is he still in office? You want to protect those though. It's not right to do that to people. It's not right to, you know, have them in here and then just because they didn't go a background check and then now you fire them because it comes out now that they, you know, were a thief or a Geppetto, you know, <laughs> that now they must be punished. It ain't right. But you fire this lady so that you could hire the criminal. Okay. <laughs> so they want to give a severance package. They want to give a severance package to this lady who this... This Tiff Tiff just came in and decided she just purposely wanted to replace with a criminal on purpose because it would suit her, okay? Because he could help her criminal better, you know? <laughs> she wanted to learn to be a better criminal. She wanted to criminal better, okay? I said it how I said it, all right? She wanted to criminal better, okay? <laughs> so I just want people to know that mm-hmm. uh, I am not in favor of creating this. Oh. Um, I think that this is going to open up Pandora's box when it comes to other employees that have been here, got fired, got terminated, and they feel that they can come and get um, pay a payout because they was terminated. Yeah, because a TIF TIF terminated them because they wouldn't get on board or they weren't just, they weren't supportive enough, okay? That's what it is. She don't want the other people that she did the same thing to to be trying to get the same thing. Ain't that something? That's called, I don't want to pay for my mistakes. Oh, definitely. I don't want to, I don't want to make the people happy that I already purposely made sad. (laughs) That's basically what it comes down to. I punish them and I'm not going to go back and be like, here, here's something. No, they now don't exist. Once the tip tip don't like you, you don't exist anymore. Did you know that? That's how, that's science. (laughs) So that is my um, synopsis for it. Mm -hmm. So synopsis. Anybody have anything to say? Any trustees? Sure. Um, May I may be recognized? Yes. Sure. Um, so in regards uh, to this matter, 
um, I don't know if we're like, I don't know if, if, it's, if it's not like the employee or exactly what we're doing. You went in and out. I, okay, can you hear me, ma'am? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. You went in and out, go ahead. Okay, um, in regards to the severance package for the employee, um, this is something that I agreed upon or um, I was in favor of because um, I felt like, I, I, and I know you stated it's politics, um, but I just felt like personally, um, the, the worker was, was a good employee. She's uh -huh. been a good employee for us. And due to the, the circumstances, I felt as if um, I'd like to give her a se severance um, since she no longer works with us. And I didn't feel personally um, as if just not giving her anything considering the fact that she is, she was a uh, fire. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fire. Thank you. Anybody else? No one else? Okay. So and I'm gonna tell you, they clearly would not be asking for this had this person been terminated for some good reason. Had this person been terminated because they did something wrong or because they were a shitty employee? I don't think so. It's because they know that she was wrongfully fucking terminated. And they know why. Okay? They know why. They were already on to the tiff tiff. Okay? They knew what had happened. Isn't that something? Like they already, they knew, man, that is so messed up. The least we can do is maybe give her something. Like, cause she literally got terminated off some evil shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like clearly they would not be asking for this had she had she just been, had she done something wrong and something happened and there's some reason why she was terminated. Any reason at all why she was terminated. Aside from Tiff Tiff wanted to make room for her, her criminal friend to come in and take that job. So oh, um, everyone said they statement for the record, and um, I will try to make sure that everyone um, stick to transparency as it relates to talking mm -hmm. to the public and just state the facts of how you feel instead of just saying um, you guys feel that a person should just get a payout. So with that being said, um, Clerk Key, call the room. Trustee Holmes. I got you. Thank you. Trustee Norwood. Hi. Trustee Steve. Aye. Trustee Belcher. Aye. Trustee House. Aye. And Trustee Brown. Aye. Motion passes. All right. And there you go. Okay. And there you go. It passed. Okay. So they're supposed to give this lady the severance package. Of course, of course, she ain't ever going to get it. She ain't never going to get it. So it don't really matter because, you know, them voting on stuff don't matter. The stuff that gets paid is the stuff that Tiffany pay herself just personally that she paid of course not personally with her own personal money but you know with the people's money that she decides you know whether they vote on it or not vote to pay it or not everybody knows that the checks just sit on her fucking desk metaphorically <laughs> okay for all of eternity okay and then eventually that money stay there long enough and people stop asking about it and then she buys herself a suit <laughs> it's just my guess and i can have that okay that's my guess and i can have that okay and that is that on that. That was a short one, okay? Y'all behave, okay? Don't be a tiff tiff. Don't be firing people so that you can then hire your criminal friends, okay, to help you criminal better. You heard what I said, criminal better, okay? Don't matter if it's proper English or not. That's what I said, criminal better, okay? <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that, okay? But mama love you. Yes, she do. Ooh, peace.